Hey, I'm Brock. I'm Tay. And this is Elaine. Elaine is our foster pup. She has been living with us for about the last three weeks now, and we're taking care of her until she can find her forever home. She's three years old, but she's been in the shelter since she was a year old. So she's been in a shelter two thirds of her life, which breaks my heart. So she hasn't been exposed to as many things as like a normal dog would by the age of three, mm -hmm. but we've been working with her a lot on that and mm -hmm. she's doing really, really good because she's so smart. Yeah she figures things out really quickly and she quickly learns what she should and shouldn't be afraid of. And she responds really, really well to treats and to training. <laughs> she has a lot of puppy-like qualities in that she still has lots of like playful energy and like lots of smells are new and sounds are new. The other day we were watching TV and she was like, you know, tilting her head as we were watching. Unlike a puppy, she is house trained, she is potty trained, and like Tay said, she's super smart. So she like responds to a lot of the corrections we've been giving her. She's allowed on this couch, but she's not allowed on our living room couch, and she's pretty much already figured that one out. So for us, she sleeps in a crate anytime we leave the house or every night. She goes in there a lot of times just on her own, or even with just a, li a little bit of encouragement. We don't have to drag her or force her into her crate, which is awesome. And also she lets us know when she has to go potty, which the shelter told us, like, she'll let you know. And I didn't know what that meant. I didn't know if she was gonna like bark at us or scratch or what. But what she does is she walks over to the top of the stairs that lead like downstairs and outside and she just sits there and looks back at us or sometimes she'll kind of do like laps like kind of over by the downstairs area and so again like it just shows how smart she is to let us know hey guys like i have to go potty we aren't sure of her breed the shelter says that she's an american staffordshire terrier but i don't quite believe that just because of her bone structure and her size i wouldn't be surprised if she's some type of mix or maybe a lab mix but we're getting her dna tested so that we can either tell her possible adopters or so that we can tell her family once we get the results just to understand her better and it would be super beneficial to know if she had other breeds in her since there are sometimes breed restrictions. We obviously have our two dogs, Mila and Shotzi, and she plays really well with other dogs. When we first met them, we went on a little walk around the block where the shelter is, and they, they played and sniffed each other in the shelter area. And since they've been home, they've been getting along really well. She definitely gets excited when she sees other dogs, but she does well getting along with them. She respects that, like, if Mila's chomping on a bone, she's not gonna go try to, like, rip it away from Mila, nor is she gonna be, like, very guarded if she has a bone and Mila's walking around. Yeah, she's really good about sharing. She tries to play tug with other dogs. Our dogs don't like to play tug with other dogs though, but she wants to play with them. We've also introduced her to my parents' dogs and she did really, really well with that. Even when they, a handful of times, tried to initiate some turmoil, I guess <laughs> you could say, she just kind of like removed herself from the situation. So. She's really, really good about that. And like Brock said, she does sometimes get a little bit excited on the leash when she sees another dog and she can't get to them. She'll start barking, but we figured out that if you catch it early enough before she gets that excited and you just turn her around and say, come on Elaine, let's go, let's go, let's go. She'll follow you and forget what she saw and she's immediately focused on you again. And we believe that eventually she'll be totally fine on leash and won't even bark at other dogs with training and just better socialization. Like we said, she's been in a shelter. So I would, if I was isolated for two years, I'd be really excited to see <laughs> people too. And then once she meets them on the leash, she stops barking. She just, she just wants to say hi really yeah. bad. She does prefer to be with you. So if we leave the room, she'll follow us. If we go downstairs, she'll follow us. But if we leave the room and we close the door behind us and she can't get to us, she doesn't freak out. She doesn't have separation anxiety or anything like that. I personally don't think that she would be destructive if we left her alone outside of a crate. We don't do that just because we do have our two dogs and they don't know each other well enough and we don't want to risk something happening when we're not around to separate them. So. I think eventually, you know, if we were to keep her hypothetically, she would be fine. I think in a future home, when she gets used to it and stuff, she would be fine outside of a crate too, if that's like your preference. 
She does have a little bit of anxiety that's not separation anxiety. And again, I think that's just from not being exposed to a lot of things for a lot of her life. So I would say it's important that her future owner be willing and patient with her because every once in a while on a walk, she'll just stop and be like, you know, you can tell she's a little unsure about an area or she's a little bit unsure about a bike that's passing by. But like we said, she learns quickly. The first week we got her, she didn't like to walk along main streets and we're, we've only had her two weeks and yesterday I walked her along a main street and she was totally fine. So we said she's super smart when she realizes that there's nothing to be nervous about she lets go of that anxiety pretty quickly. She's also very well-mannered. When we get home, she doesn't jump on us. She's obviously like wiggly and excited to see us, but it's great to see that she still, despite that excitement, doesn't like jump on you or put her paws on you, which is awesome. And we've also been working on her not darting out the door when we open it to go potty or to take her on a walk. And she's already picked that up really fast. So she's actually a lot more patient and well-mannered even than Shotzi and Mila sometimes, where she'll just wait at the door for us to give her the okay to head outside rather than just like trying to force her way outside because she's has the leash on and is excited to, to go. We don't let her off leash just because we are fosters and we're responsible for the shelter's dog essentially so we don't know how she does off leash but i think with all dogs it's important to practice that and train those skills before you actually let them off the leash and because she's so smart i think she could learn that pretty quickly as well the one time that you did let her off the leash was in uh, her parents backyard when it was just oh, a lane yeah. and it was a big grassy backyard and I mean, you can tell them, but she yeah, we she don't had have time a backyard, so we can't let her off the leash anywhere. But my parents do, and I let her off the leash there. And she had the zoomies for like 30 minutes straight, and she was just so happy to be outside. She is definitely a very active dog. I think she would be great for smaller spaces and apartments because she chills most of the day. But she definitely needs like a walk or a run or just some outside time because. She's got a little bit of energy. And so seeing her in like a big open space was really, really cute, especially because I assume at the shelter, she doesn't have the opportunity to go run around a giant grassy area. It was adorable to see. Another example of how well-mannered she is, is how gently she takes treats. She basically kisses it out of my finger. She's so freaking gentle at taking treats. She loves to play tug and she's like very strong, but she's never missed or like bit my hand or been upset when I've taken a toy or anything like that. I even sometimes just play wrestle with her without a toy and she'll like mouth my arm, but she's never hurt me at all. Like Mila's nipped me before <laughs> on accident and Elaine never has. She's very, very smart in that way. We're also working with her on not pulling on the leash in general. I would say about 50% of the time, there's absolutely zero tension on the leash. I noticed that usually tension on the leash is because she sees another dog or person. She'll bark when she sees dogs, but she doesn't bark when she she sees people and or because she like really has to go potty and she's trying to get to like her spot to go potty but other than that she does really really well and we've been working with her on not pulling so she gets rewarded anytime there's not tension on the leash and she's picked up really quickly she's already so much better than when we brought her home and we're doing the same with seeing people and dogs on the leash and being excited and she's already a lot better there so she's from best friends animal shelter in los angeles we're located in orange county but she can be adopted from anywhere so even if you're in pennsylvania you could take her home with you the shelter doesn't offer transportation because they just don't have the funding or the resources to do that but we are more than happy to work with her future owner on getting her home whether whether that means us taking her to the airport or driving halfway to meet you somewhere or whatever it is, it's so important to us that we don't have to take her back to the shelter in June when we move to Utah. So we will do whatever we can to get her home. And if you're interested in the lane or you know someone who might be, send this to them, reach out to Best Friends LA. You can reach out to us directly and we will help get that process started for you if you want. Mm -hmm. We'll yeah. put the link to that down in the description below this video if you want to organize like a meetup if you want to meet her in person yeah, beforehand you can, you can meet we're her open before to that. you 
decide to take her home. If you are local to Southern California, Best Friends LA also allows you to foster her and then you can decide if you want to adopt her. So if you are interested in her, but you want to see how she works in your home with, she does really well with other dogs. So if you want to see how she does with your dogs, give her some time to adjust before you make that decision. That's also a possibility. You see, I put my, my hand like this. She just invested her chin. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh, and she does, I, we didn't mention this, I don't mm. think. She does really, really well in the car. Yeah, she does. She doesn't cry. Unlike she, Shotzi. Yeah, <laughs> Shotzi gets like way too excited. She doesn't cry at all. She doesn't just lay down right away. I think just because she hasn't had enough car time, but she's also just very curious. So she loves to look out the window and she, we drove her an hour and a half from LA and she didn't make a peep. She was so good. Mm -hmm. I think there's really not, there's really, I like, every time I look at her, I'm like, how do you not have a home? I don't get it. Can we sit? Good girl. Look at that. Good job, everybody. Good job for the camera. Thanks so much for watching. Again, if you're interested in this cutie pie, we'll put all the links down in the description. Don't forget to like this video and send this to a friend who might be interested and having this cutie join their family. Yeah, or post this in your neighborhood Facebook group or whatever, just help to get the word out about Elaine. I know there's tons of dogs that need homes. She's just one of a million, but it would mean the world to us if we didn't have to send her back to the shelter. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment on this video your question or DM us and we'll answer as best we can.